Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I do my lift in curls with medium length hair. First, I use a one inch barrel curling iron with a clamp, not just a wand. I also use texture spray, dry shampoo, a brush, and a clip to make sure everything is sectioned and out of the way. So to start off, I will split my hair into two sections and then I will split the back section into a smaller section. I usually use about one inch sections. Then I will start by clamping midway down the shaft and then curling up. Notice I will unclamp and slide a little bit. And then as I undo the curl, I will unwind it. I won't just let go of the hair. And then I also rotate between curling away from my face and towards my face. So I like to keep out a, my ends of my curls. You'll notice here that I've left out my ends. Um, it's harder to do on the under pieces of my hair, um, but I just do my best. I definitely leave out the ends on my top layers. So again, I rotate back and forth away from my face towards my face. And then as I am unwinding that curl, you'll see I just kind of slide the ends through my curling iron. So I don't just completely unclamp and leave them out. I just don't curl them. And then when I unwind my curls, I will just slide it through like that. So anyway, I will continue going away from my face, towards my face, keeping out my ends all the way around my head until I get to the front. So once I get to the very front pieces of my face, I will curl all of these pieces away from my face. And I just like the way that looks, so that's why I do it. I will then move to the other side of my head. Again, I will just go back and forth towards my face, away from my face. And I always work from the back forward, but you could work from the front backwards. It really doesn't matter um, which direction you do. I feel like this is easier because I can kind of um, set a barrier of where I want my front pieces to start, where they all go in that same one direction. Um, the reason I rotate the curls is because if you curl everything the same way, it can tend to um, make your hair look like just one big ringlet. And so if you alternate the directions, it's going to keep your curls separated and not look like it's just one big curl altogether. Once I'm done curling my hair, I will add a little bit of dry shampoo to the top of my head, brush that out, and then I will add in my texture spray all over my hair. This will help give me some volume. It'll also help um, add some grip to my hair and so that the curls will last a little bit longer. Now, right after that, I like a little bit more volume at the top of my head, so I'm going to add a little more texture spray to the top and tease those sections and then brush them out just to give a little bit more volume. And that is it. That whole thing takes me about 15 minutes to curl my hair. And that is how I create these lifting curls with my medium length hair. Bye guys.